stop me. Cash don't do no debit, so my wallet fill out. Up. Nigga, I will like I'm up at Uncle Phil. I was body back for all the comp. All the comp. I don't know the all the blocks. I'm the freshest nigga in the town, false or not. Welcome back to Shadow of Views TV. It's your boy Ring. It's your boy Nito. And today we're going to be reacting to 12 surprising facts about South Africa. Oh. Uh, before we get started, follow me on Instagram. Check out my clothing brand, Short Range. The link will be below in the description. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Don't forget to hit that bell notification button so you're notified every time we upload. That too. That too. Right, I'm gonna put on the break. South Africa, a beautiful, warm country filled with great stories and people. A place that is one of the most developed countries in all of Africa, with an amazing population of 50.59 million people, making up slightly more than 5% of the total pop. You realize when shit like this is always white people narrating it? <laughs> Population of Africa and this country not only shares borders with other nations But the vast open waters of the Indian and South That's Atlantic so nice. Ocean yeah. now welcome to FTD facts guys This is the channel where we like to go around the world and look at people's cultures and places from different places than our own And with that today we are talking about the powerful nation of South Africa. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Waffle and for South Africa This is a country that well, we've had people request us to do this country for a long time and because of that, we gotta thank everybody who suggested this country, and for those who are just joining us for the first time, this is a channel where we like to take a lot of recommendations from you, the viewers. So get down there in the comments below and get active. Now before we get in this episode, I want to know what is the best thing about your country? Because a lot of you guys are- What do you think the best thing about our country? <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't even know, honestly. The women. That's probably the only thing. But that's not even, because you know how they be nowadays. Facts, facts, facts. So I, would rather. Like, I don't even know. Anyway, shit, really. Like, I, don't I mean, know. I, it's it's country that like it's worse. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. But America, not how they try to make it out the scene. At all, you know. Oh, one good thing: unemployment checks. <laughs> I, I need to get on that. I do too. I should have never went back to work. I Me mean, neither. I said it just finesse them. I haven't get paid. From different countries, me here, I'm from Canada. I really don't know what I like most about my country because there's so much. But if you guys got a list, put it down there. I want to read and I want to know why. Now, if you were to ask somebody to name the capital of South Africa, most people will probably answer Johannesburg because it's one of the biggest cities and it just seems like. What do you think the biggest, the, uh, the capital? I don't I, have, I really don't know. That's I my that's yeah. my answer. I'd be like, I don't know. Yeah, I, really, I wouldn't <laughs> even tell know. me. <laughs> the right thing to say. And even though it is the largest and most like financially so important in city in all of South is. Africa, that answer is not actually correct. The truth is, in fact, South Africa has three official capital cities. Pretoria, for example, is the administrative side. Bloemfontein has control of the judicial side of South Africa. And as for Cape Town, it's the legislative capital of South Africa. Oh, I, so I get it. It's three different, uh, you know how to, uh, we got three different uh, forms of the government, judicial, yeah. legislative, and yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So they got a capital, like one for each one. So that yeah. makes sense why they got three. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if their government actually got like only three yeah, branches yeah, yeah. too, but. South Africa is also quite a multi-ethnic and multicultural society. It has one of the most diversified cultures and languages in the entire world. And although in history there's been a lot of problems over race and culture within the country, the nation has 11 official languages recognized in the constitution. Those are English, Afrikaans, Indibele, Pedi, Soto, Venda, Hosa, and that is... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, I'm waiting for them to say Zulu. I feel like that's a popular one. Yeah. Hosa with a click. That's how you pronounce an X. Swazi, oh. Songa, Swan. That's how you. That's how you pronounce the X. The. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh because you're making me laugh. Now that shit is funny. How, why? Why is that an X though? Yeah. What the? Fuck? That's crazy. I, I would never do that. 
and of course Zulu, with Zulu being one of the most spoken languages. Oh, that's, and that's, that's why. Yeah. Wasn't that um? And they could play with me. I'm gonna <laughs> them out. <laughs> so it, that, that was um nasty seed. He yeah, had a thing yeah. called um, Zulu, Zulu man with power. Yeah, some shit right there. South Africa, it definitely has a record because there is no other country in the world that has as much official languages as this country. Now, South Africa is also considered a treasure trove for archaeologists and paleontologists. The country alone has produced some of the world's oldest and most valuable fossils to date. And of course, about a fifth of the world's gold comes from mines in South Africa. So, once again, white people stealing shit. <laughs> That's what I got out of it. <laughs> And speaking about digging and moving earth around to find these treasures, let's talk about the ground itself. Because every year, South Africa moves about two inches farther away from South America. And this is a subtle continuation of what is known as the continental drift. Now, when it comes to health and science... God damn, I mean, they're going to be separated soon. Yeah, real soon. Hell yeah, that's crazy. I mean, that's low-key tough, though. Uh, but and ass at the same time. Because you can't just, like drive state to state. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, yeah. like, you want to do a bridge or some shit like that. Or a boat. Yeah. Depending on how far it is. Yeah. The doctors of South Africa have done something that nobody else has. And that is the first ever heart transplant was carried out in the country. That's this tough. was done at that the Groot Schur Hospital in Cape Town. In 1967, the operation was conducted by surgeon Christian Barnard. And even though the patient died 18 days later, it was considered a success. This is because he died from double pneumonia, but his body had not rejected the heart. And from that moment on, it paved a whole new pathway into heart surgery, which is helped millions of people. Now, one thing about double South pneumonia. Africa is there are some beaches that you Wait, can... how you get double? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Unless, uh, maybe he got ammonia and went away and he got it again. That'd be double. I don't think... I don't. How the fuck do you get double ammonia? I don't know. I don't they, think, like, they give niggas double life. <laughs> so maybe he got it, had it, went away and got it again. So that's considered double. There's no way possible you can have it and then... At twice at once. Like yeah, that. like what? That only... Yeah, either you have it or you don't. Yeah, you can't have it twice. I don't know. In one... I mean, that's crazy. Go and hang out with penguins, which I find very weird because I thought penguins really like the cold. Believe it or not, there are various breeding colonies of African penguins, also known as the jackass penguin. They are usually found <laughs> on the west. The jackass, the jackass right. penguin. I, no, but it's, I seen a video on Facebook like um like of Africa, mm -hmm. so fucking nice. Like yeah, I, I feel like I feel like I hate when people do stuff and when they uh, talk about like a place. They either show only the bad or only the good. Like, show yeah. both. I, I already knew, like, like that's just, like, anywhere you go. Everywhere is always a good, good place and, and a bad, bad place. Yeah, yeah, but, like, it was, like, you know how, like, you go to, like, Long Branch and you drive through Long Branch and see them big-ass houses? Oh, where the, uh, yeah, where like, the all, Jewish all the, people Yeah, all the rich people. Yeah, it was, uh -huh. like, like that. Like, just, like, on some L.A. shit, just street, big-ass houses, nice as hell. I'm, like, whoa, that shit, like, that's just nice. You know, I got the rich part, and then, you know, obviously, it's just, like, anywhere else. You know, you got the poorest part. But it was, I know I want to go there. That's why I do definitely want to go there. Where Long Branch? No, 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 Africa. <laughs> I will, I do want to go to Africa. I don't like crossing large bodies of water. I Man, well, I have before. I went to the Bahamas. That shit was lit. Now I want to go to Africa and Jamaica. You go. Let me know how it is. I oh, am. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, we can FaceTime. <laughs> nah, I don't want to see so, it. Y'all, y'all want to catch Reem in Africa? Uh, y'all, y'all could see me over FaceTime. <laughs> That'd be a nice vlog. Yeah. I mean, it it probably it probably be nice there, but they said we not welcome. That's what they said. I think somebody said that. <laughs> Can we banned? Yeah. I'm still gonna go. I'm about to be like, nigga, you don't want to cut you. I'm That's still gonna like, go. You gonna have to catch me. And then they gonna come under. He speaks for us. No, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> coast of South Africa, and one of the most famous places to visit these birds is in Boulders Beach, which is just south of Cape Town. With over six million trees, Johannesburg is considered Those to have shit's the shit's tough. The little... The, I like the, the color, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that shit is mean. hard. That shit is mean. Largest man-made forest on the entire planet. Originally, Johannesburg was considered a grassland, but they changed that relatively quick. 
This is because trees were planted in the 19th century in order to provide wood for the growing mining industry. One amazing thing that I always loved about South Africa is if you look at the map, you will find something very odd about it. And that is the country known as Lesotho, which is completely landlocked and surrounded by the entire country of South Africa. And although it is its own country, if you look up... Yeah, I, I think it's another country that's like that, where it's inside of a country. Like, it's a separate country, but it's inside of a country, too. I think I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't know. I was just looking on the map one day. Like, on my, uh... The Google Maps? Nah. Or the iPhone Maps? Or? Nah. On uh, my, uh... Because, like, my, my website or whatever, uh, okay. it showed me, uh, like, where the, uh, the viewers from. Like, the people that come to the page. Oh, shit. It showed me the countries, yeah. So, I was just looking around, scrolling around it. Oh, shit. That's tough. And I seen... I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know that tough. was possible. That's tough. That's tough, Nito. On a map and talk to some people some people will say it should have just been part of the country one other really interesting thing that is a coincidence within south africa is it's the only country in the world to have two nobel peace prize winners who had houses on the same street oh, this is really tough. Cozy street in so that's tough i mean they breathe uh like yeah hell yeah, yeah. two nobel peace prize winners on the same street that's tough and the Nobel Prize <laughs> winners that lived on that street were Nelson Mandela and oh, Archbishop yeah. Desmond Tutu. However, South Africa yeah. is not just hey, a place of science I, and opportunity. I think I, I might have before. Heard, uh, I think they might have said something about him before uh, on, on like the comment sections. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, I did hear uh, Yeah, everybody. I think everybody heard of Nelson Mandela. Yeah, yeah. I definitely heard of him. Mm -hmm. It's also a place of sport. With soccer or football, however you want to pronounce it, being one of the most popular sports within the country, like South though. Africa was yeah, the like, first yeah. African country to host the FIFA World that's Soccer tough. Cup in 2010. That but that's not the only sport it can pull a record from. It is only the second oh, country in the it. world to have hosted cricket, rugby union, and soccer World Cups after England. And not only that, but there is one other thing that the country can be really proud of. It is the only country in the entire world to build nuclear weapons and to voluntarily dismantle its own nuclear weapons program. And okay, to this that's good. They like, they yeah, um, they some smart ass motherfuckers out there. Yeah, no, but I like the fact that they like they not jumping to war like America. They just they, they always want to fucking go to war and shit. Like nigga, calm down. Let's be happy, enjoy life and shit. I actually thought they it always, was gonna be a, another war. Uh, yeah, I thought bro. It was gonna be war. And then I feel like. Because, what is it? Ah, oh, damn, what's the word? I don't know. I think America too full of itself. And then, like, Russia the same way, too. So, I feel, and, like, uh, was it Korea? Uh-huh. Uh, like, yeah. Kim I feel like they just, like, they always want to be the top dog. They do too much. And that's that's what's going to lead to problems. Like, sometimes they need to de-escalate situations. Niggas want to build nukes and shit. Like, damn, you trying to blow up the whole country. I ain't do shit to you, my nigga. Fact, I ain't even. <laughs> I don't even know the president. You get mad at me. Today, there is no country that has ever done it on a voluntary basis. South Africa may be on the southern tip of Africa, but it accounts for almost 25% of the GDP of the entire African continent. Its economy is twice the size of Algeria, which comes in second of GDP. But that's it, guys. That's just a taste of what this great nation is. My name is Dave Waldo, and we want to thank you guys so much for watching. Is it gross domestic population? I don't know. I don't know. That was my first yeah, guess. I was, I was trying to think, but I can't even think of what that shit even means. Yeah, he about to wrap this shit up anyway, so I ain't playing this anymore. But I feel like it was, it was a cool video. Yeah, definitely. I didn't know half of that shit. Like, mo most of the whole video yeah. I didn't know, so I definitely learned a Not lot. Not gonna lie, though. Even though I learned some new shit, my memory's bad, so I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> but if, like, you say, I'm like, oh, yeah, I knew that. But yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, don't ask me to name the shit, because, yeah. boy. Uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. All I remember is, like, the, the language, like, Zulu. That's on or the one, the one with the sun, sun, sun. That's all I remember. <laughs> I know English was in there. Then I know about the sport with the, uh, the cricket, the feet. Uh, they the, the first one to host the FIFA, FIFA World the, Cup. FIFA, yeah. Then they had and, something uh, with the uh, cricket. 2010. It's crazy because I just they the uh, second country to do it, the uh, like first after England. Yeah, like cricket. I didn't even know about none of that. You know, it got ass, bro. It That's... is ass. Like you want to know what else the sport got there? Rock tossing. It's not called rock. It's called something else, but that's the sport, You're too. You're talking about, like, in the ocean? Like yeah, the like, water? when you um throw the rocks in the skip. I forgot what it's called. But At that's, this point, that, anything a fucking sport, That's bro. a sport, too. I didn't know that was a sport. Who made that, a, that 
That's not a sport. It is. If that's a sport, then cheerleading definitely a sport. They consider it is, but it's crazy. At, at that point, ping pong must be a sport. I but think I think they will consider ping pong a sport. But definitely that the rock thing that that was on ESPN and I looked it up, and I'm like, what the fuck? And it, it's a sport. It's, I don't know. it's crazy, you know. Yeah, let us know how y'all uh, feel about this video. Any suggestions y'all got for future videos down below in the comment section. Yes, sir. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you're notified every time I upload. Yes, sir. Also, make sure if y'all got any other facts about South Africa, drop them down below in the comment section. You know I me? Mean? But other than that, we are out. Just been tweaking, she said she just wanna pop She raised all her demons, having fun out